All right guys, what's up? Dave Nelson here with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be about how to color grade Sony s 2 footage. So for those of you that are new to the whole log idea, log footage basically refers to an image that is basically compressed in a sense so that you can get the most dynamic range. Now dynamic range simply refers to the most bright parts of the image and the darkest parts of the image. So when someone refers to dynamic range, it basically means the difference or the contrast between the highlights and the blacks. So essentially, the purpose of shooting in a log profile is that you'll be able to capture more dynamic range because you wouldn't have your blown out highlights and you would have more details in your shadows. And that way, when you're color grading, you have a lot of room to edit in post. Now, I'm gonna jump right into Premiere Pro and show you how I personally color grade my Sony S2 footage. So I have Premiere Pro open right now and I have three clips loaded. So all these clips were shot using Sony S Log 2, the regular pro the standard one. Alright guys, so I have Premiere Pro open and I have three clips in my timeline. All these clips were shot with Sony S Log 2, that's PP7. If you're using a Sony A6300 or A6500. And let's just go ahead and start. So as you notice it's pretty washed out and desaturated because of the compression. So the first thing that I do when I am color grading is I switch to the color workspace in Premiere Pro and then I go ahead and boost the contrast of the image. Alright. Okay, I'm not I'm on the wrong clip. Alright, so yeah, I go ahead and boost the contrast of the image. Once I've added a little contrast, I'm over here looking at my scopes. Blacks would fall on 0 and whites would fall on 100. So as long as nothing is past these two points and there's no clipping or um, crushing. So once I've added a little contrast, I'll go ahead and bring down the highlights. I'll turn down the shadows. I will also turn down the blacks. Make sure that nothing is being crushed. All right, started to look pretty good. You can see a bit more contrast. Then I go ahead and add some saturation. Um, I find a sweet spot to be around 130. So yeah, it's looking pretty nice right now. Now, I'm not sure if you can tell because it's a shot from behind. Wow, my computer is struggling a lot with this clip. But essentially, her skin tone has a slight greenish pigment. That's something that happens quite often with Sony cameras. Well, I'm trying to enlarge the screen, but it's giving me a warm time, so it's like I won't be able to enlarge it. But yes, there's some green in her skin tones. So, what I would do is I would go to HSL Secondary. I use the set color key. Click on an area of your skin and then I go to correction. I'm just going to change the hue to add a little bit of orange and some saturation. Not too much, just a little. So it looks a bit better. And right now we have a pretty standard image as it pertains to colors. It's looking, it's looking pretty good. So what I'd go ahead and do from here now is I'd add a little bit more contrast using the tone curve. So I'm going to pull down this point right here, which would be the shadows. I'm going to pull down the mid-tone, which would be right here. Alright. And yeah, it looks pretty good. Alright, and the last thing that I do after finally color correcting my footage, because that what I just did right there was color correcting, I basically added back the tones and the original colors that would have been with the standard image that would have come straight out of camera. The last thing I'd usually do would be to add a LUT. So I have quite a few LUTs. Um, one that I like to use a lot is the Osiris M31. It's a pretty standard LUT. When I add it to the clip, it looks a bit you know, over the top. So I'm going to turn down the intensity from 100 to around 40. And yeah, it's been looking pretty good for now. So this is a basic example of how I'd color grade a clip. 
and then uh Okay, so this is another clip from a music video I did a while back for Lemside. He's a really famous Jamaican artist. Um, you can go to his YouTube channel and check out the video. I'll leave a link in the description. So, as far as color grading for this goes, you know, it's pretty much the same process. I go ahead and add some contrast. Be sure to pay attention to your waveform and your scopes. Then I turn down the highlights a bit. I turn down the blacks while watching the clip. I also bring down the shadows. You can see it's looking a little better now. I add some saturation, I'll say 130 because I like the colors of this clip. It's a little bit too saturated, so I'll say 125. And then I'll go ahead and add some more contrast. So when I click on these points right here, basically what I'm doing is I'm adding points that I don't want to be changed when I'm moving the points up and down. So this point right here would basically mean the black. So if I lift this right here, it's affecting anything that would fall under blacks. And whoa. Yes, and this point right here would be the shadows. Right here would be the mid-tones, right here would be whites, and the end would be highlights. So I'm going to turn down the shadows a bit. I'm going to bring down the mid-tones slightly. And I might bring down the whites a bit too. Alright, so this image is looking pretty good now as well. Her skin tones actually look pretty good. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and add a lot. Um, they are a lot of lots here, but just just to keep the consistency, I add the um, Osiris lot again. Okay, and you notice this lot has a orange and teal feel to it, so this looks pretty good to me. Um, maybe I just pull down the blacks a little bit more, add some more contrast, and just bring down the shadow a little bit more too. Yep. Uh, See so likes. I like how this looks now. And I'm gonna play a part of this right now for you guys to take a look. When you buy in your body, me fancy you tickle. In your sexy body, you go for pee You want the baddest thing, no make nobody trick you. Alright guys, so I have another clip here from a video I shot all back for one of my friends. His name is Jay Art on Instagram. He is a really dope photographer. We did this as a collaboration. I don't think he actually released the video, but I do think he did around with some of the poses we took that day. So, alright, go ahead and click on the clip, you know the usual, add some contrast, started looking pretty good, turn down the blacks, turn down the highlights a bit, sometimes I like to add highlights, but for the most part I like to turn them down. Alright, then I go to creative. Well, no, first of all, I go to curves and add some more to the shadows. It's looking pretty contrasty right now, so I don't think I'm going to do any more in terms of contrast. Then I'll go ahead and add a lot just to maintain our consistency. I'll add the same lot I've been using for this whole video. Um, Lots are not required, but they just uh, give that extra oomph. I can show you guys how to actually do the full color grade from scratch, but most times, this is my workflow, I tend to use Lux because I have a fast turnaround time. If I am doing the grading from scratch, I'll actually use a software that I downloaded recently and create a look from Lightroom. So some of the Lux I use are actually my own personal Lux. I'll be giving away some Lux pretty soon. I just need to finalize um, which one I'll be doing. So yeah, all right. For most cases, you don't want to leave your look at 100%. This doesn't look too bad, but I'm just gonna put it at 80, just because, uh, I'll say 60. All right, and our clip is still looking pretty amazing. 
I'll play a sample of this for you guys and you guys tell me what you think. Alright guys, so this is my tutorial on how to color your Sony s 2 footage. I hope it really helped. Um, s 2 isn't um, impossible to get, it's actually quite fun to get at times. If you don't have the fastest turnaround time, I'd always recommend shooting in a log profile so that you can get the most dynamic range. But if you don't need to have that much dynamic range, I'd tell you to shoot in a regular profile and just take out some of the saturation and the contrast and you can add that back in post. But shooting logs sometimes, especially with Sony cameras, can change the color that you're seeing. So as I said before, Sony sometimes tends to change the um, pigment of skin tones and use it a greenish tint. Um, not really seeing much of that in this particular image and the images before, so I guess I got lucky for those days. But um, thank you guys for watching my tutorial. If there's anything you think I left off, please let me know in the comments. If there's anything you'd like to add or any future tutorials that you'd like to see, let me know. And please be sure to follow me on Instagram at Dane underscore visuals. And thank you guys so much for watching.